Last night was the big debate between potential VPs, Team Waltz and JD Vance. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, there was a debate last night? Yep, it was spicier than you think. Well, Mar 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 Mara, but, but thank you, no, Senator. No, we have no, no, so course. much to get to. Margaret, thank I, you, I think Mara. it's important we're because we're to turn out of the, the debate, economy. Thank Margaret, you, Margaret. That thank is you, the facilitation of illegal immigration, Margaret. By thank our you, own Senator, for describing the legal process. And we want to have. app has not been on the books since 1990. Gentlemen, you're, the audience can't hear you because your mics are cut. He is still saying he didn't lose the election. I would just ask that: Did he lose the 2020 election? Tim, I'm focused on the future. Did Kamala Harris censor Americans from speaking their mind in the wake of the 2020 COVID situation? That is, a damning, to... that is a damning non answer. Despite all of this, I gotta say, this debate was a bit less intense than the last one. I love this intense. Vance even called his opponent by his title. No Sleepy Tim or Sleepy Waltz, nothing. But here comes the crazy part they actually shook hands and smiled at each other at the end of the debate. Just shook hands. No single eye roll or sneer. I have expected them to hug it out. Like, good debate, bro. See you Sunday for brunch. But don't get too comfortable thinking this is a new norm. Because meanwhile, on True Social, Trump was still doing his thing. Live tweeting in all caps. Granted, this debate was a lot less crazy than the last one. And it might get less ratings. But it does give me hope that we can have politics in America that look a lot less like a UFC fight and a lot more like an actual debate. Moving on, a driver in Washington got busted trying to game the HOV lane. You know the carpool lane? Usually when people do that, they use a dummy, mannequin, blow-up doll, whatever. But this guy just threw a plaid shirt on the passenger seat and called it a day. And it's not the first time they've seen this trick in Renton, Washington. Last year, somebody got caught with a clown mannequin. What is this? The carpool lane or the Paris Fashion Week? I swear, we got plaid passenger, clown companion. What's next? Business casual backseat? Or maybe a leopard print seatbelt. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe to stay in touch with the news.